Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past Teachers. Again, it's an absolute pleasure to have you. I'm actually talking really fast because we've got a whole bunch of things we need to do really, really quickly, and we don't really know what we're going to do with the time we actually have, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this out through. Yes, that was a little bit fast for most of you guys. Thank you very much for watching. What we're going to do with this Marvel Heroes Omega video is this is our, this is our big farewell, our bye bye to the game that's about to shut down on the 31st of December. We're going to do one more loot box for opening. And as you can see, I have a fair amount of currency to spend. What, 749 Gs, 1,420 Splinters, and a lot of Marvelous Essence. But these boxes are down to one. One for five. So I, I wanted to spend all of them on the stuff, but I literally just have too many Gs to do so. So what I'm going to do is we're doing one hundred boxes of the three boxes that are available. We're going to do 100 Apocalypse, 100 Marvel Heroes, and 100 Spookies. Let's see what happens. Just for the fact of SGA, because we can! So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100! <laughs> Admittedly, I'm mildly giddy about the fact that they actually do cost as little as they do, uh, but also the same time, it's like, that's still terrifying. <laughs> it's actually, like, well, what's that much bought loot boxes actually all be being opened at once? So let's see. I'm pretty sure we got to empty our pockets to be able to actually do this. So let's get ourselves over and emptied. So, uh, hero, empty everything out of all of your goddamn pockets. Store all items. Store all items. Can you tell I actually went in and just bought all of the loot space as well? Because I just don't care. <laughs> like, how can you care now whenever like the game's going to shut down and like, all oh, this stuff's going to disappear in about 30 days. So let's just put all the things in the boxes. Yep. Whole sacks are full of relics. Not, don't eat them. Yep. Oop, store all items. Store all items. Don't forget to store all your items. So, across the supplies. <sighs> you gotta empty the pockets of everything. We got marvelous loot boxes. Oh, God, there's so much stuff here that actually still needs to be put away. <laughs> uh, none in there, none in there, none in there. All right. So, still got 26. Uh, yeah, do you want to actually unquit it? We're gonna grab. Uh, 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 uh. If I can unequip the entire character and still have pockets filled with shit, how is that possible? Because your maximum is 90. So I'm gonna to need to do a 90 and then a 10 to be able to put everything into my pockets. So hang on. Can we get an actual empty character? That's what the question is. Good grief! It's like this is this is a perfect example of a really poorly designed uh, equipment system, but it's apparently better than the PC version. It's just really difficult to actually go through and get rid of everything that you don't need. All right, we've still only got twenty six spaces. Those are all empty, so it's all in cosmetics. Jesus Christ! <laughs> there we go, and unequip as well, and there we go. Right, we have empty pockets. Now we can go and get from our inventory of 100 Apocalypse Boxes. Retrieve all. And there's still 10! Still fucking 10 of them! So we're gonna do 10 and then we'll come back and get the rest. Right. Let's see. Let's take a seat. <laughs> Let's take a seat with Loki and just see if we can actually get through these as fast as possible. I honestly thought, all right, I'll do 25 again, like I always did, but I just thought, right, go a hole for leather, do a whole stupid stack of them, and we'll we'll see what we get in them that might be worthwhile. These are going to be lightning fast. None of the big long discussions. If you if you know the song, you know the lines. When certain items come up, feel free to say them in the chat because that's the only thing that's going to actually work for this. One more Marvel's essence. Shows you a small character experience token experience boost. Ten unstable molecules, a venom cheer, and twenty five eternity splinters. Not too bad. Let's move on. <laughs> Four Marvel's essence minor experience boost. Experience boost. Uh, Egyptian Pyramid Flourish, a uh, combination boost, and 50 legendary marks. <laughs> Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, a uh, currency boost, uh, 10 unstable molecules, 50 legendary marks, and an overflowing credit chest! Woo! 
Four Marvel Assassin's Drax Fire Flourish Floated Credit Chest. Ten legendary marks. Ten legendary marks. Man, that's not a great box. Four Marvel Assassin's Marvel Green Spray Paint Loaded Credit Chest. Ten legendary marks. Egyptian Sand Flourish. And a Rocket Raccoon Show Off. That's not too bad, but it's still kind of shit. Four Marvel Assassin's and Mechanical Components. A Loaded Credit Chest. Ten Unstable Molecules. A Deadpool Cheer. Woo! Overflowing Credit Chest. Yay! Four Marvel Assassin's Lightweight Armor Plate. Unstable Molecules. A duplicate Costume Essence. For 15. 50 Relics of Atlantis. That's fantastic. Captain Marvel Show Off. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Moon Stable Molecules, 25 Marvelous Essence, a Matrix of Unbinding, and a Black Bolt Show Off. Four Marvelous Essence, a shitty ass credit chest, a loaded credit chest, 10 legendary marks, a duplicate costume, and 50 legendary marks. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Currency Boost, 10 Unstable Molecules, and Overflowing Credit Chest. Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, pen jerry particles, ten legendary marks, shield supply boost, and a squirrel girl show off. Four marvelous essence, futuristic alloy, ionic particle, kitty pride cheer, a matrix of unbinding, and in relics of Xandar in 50. Two attorney splinters, four marvelous essence, relic of Wakanda by 10, wing scar flourish, 10 unstable molecules, and a 50 relics of Atlantis. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, over 10 Relics of Asgard, 10 Eternity Splinters, 10 Unstable Molecules, and the Colossus Age of Apocalypse costume. Huzzah! One of the last few that I need to grab from this. Uh, I was happy enough to get that. Or do you think I'm thinking missing otherwise? No. No, like, literally, I think the Colossus was the last one to get. I like this costume. I like the storyline. Generation Next, or is it Generation Next they called? Yeah, I think they called them Generation Next in the Age of Apocalypse series. Was a fantastic series with a tragic ending. Highly recommend checking it out if you ever get the opportunity. Colossus and Kitty Pride as the heads of a school. Especially if they in the world case, worst case scenario, they, those kids were made into warriors and they, they they lived and fought proudly. I'm not going to say they won. Two Darnie Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Loaded Credit Chest, Iron Man Cheer, Duplicate Costume. That's five costumes in the actual last ooh, 15 boxes. 25 Eternity Splinters. Four Marvelous Essence, Small Character Experience, Token for Deadpool, and Nance Genome Combination by Matrix of Unbinding, Unflow Overflowing Credit Chest. Four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Nightcrawler, Currency Boost, and 25 Relics of Asgard, 20 Relics of Asgard, Combination Boost, and 50 Legendary Marks. Five Energy Splinters, Fire Eternity Splinters, Four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for the Punisher, uh, 25 Marvelous Essence, a Egyptian Sun Flourish, and a Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence box of 50. Four Marvelous Essence, a Dimensional Prism Flourish, a Cosmic Fragment, 10 Unstable Molecules, Ultimate Power Upgrade, Ultimate Power Upgrade. Four Marvelous Essence, Small Character Experience, Token Currency Boost, uh, Duplicate Costume, Bonus Essence, 15 Combination Boost, and 50 Legendary Marks. Four Marvelous Essence, Android Particles, a Common Experience Boost, a Combination Boost, and a Seal and a Supply Boost, and a 25 and Turn Splinters. Four Marvelous Essence, Small Character Experience, Token for Nova, Currency Boost, 10 Legendary Marks, 2 Experience Bonuses, 50 Relics of Subterranea. Four Marvelous Essence, small character experience, token for She-Hulk, currency boost, uh, duplicate costume, bonus essence for 15, large character experience, token for Captain America, and an ultimate fire upgrade. And Marvelous Essence, four Marvelous Essence, small character experience, token for the Hulk, 10 legendary marks, 10 unstable molecules, and Deadpool show off. Two attorney splinters, four Marvelous Essence, loaded credit chests, large character experience, token, 20 relics of subterranean, and two shields and supply boosts. Four Marvelous Essence, Energized Particles, Currency Boost, a uh, Duplicate Costume, Bonus Essence of 15, Spider-Man Cheer, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Four Marvelous Essence, a uh, shitty-ass credit chest, 10 Relics of Xandar, and a Random Hero Ultimate Gift, 2 Experience Boost, and a Duplicate Costume, Bonus Essence of 50. Four Marvelous Essence, Lightweight Armor Plate, Mayog of Asgard, Ray Shield Supply Boost, 10 Unstable Molecules, Relic of a Subterranean by 50. Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, uh, high tech fabric, matrix of unbinding, matrix of unbinding, and a duplicate custom bonus, bonus essence chest for 580. Thought they'd fix that problem. <laughs> That's not a box for 580, but, um, itty, just itty. So that was actually the rarest of the rare ones from the Age of Apocalypse costumes. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Experience Boost, two Experience Boost, a Deadpool Cheer, and a Nightcrawler Show-Off. 
Four marvelous essence, mechanical components, ten relics with Andor, two experience boost, one combination boost, and a duplicate costume bonus essence out of 80. So that's actually two of the actual four horsemen of the apocalypse we've gotten that time. Uh, so, so far, we would have gotten two of those in that batch. This is actually, um, obviously, with the odds of it being, like, we're only about 50 into this, and we've already got absolutely everything we could possibly get. Four marvelous essence, black widow, currency boost, ten legendary marks, and another duplicate boost. So the costumes are actually really commonly coming up. Um, essentially, we're, we're doing this as a 50. I, I, I've, there's no point of doing the 100, because, honestly, there's too few costumes actually get in this, and I've already gone through absolutely everything that's in here. Four marvelous essence, clue cage, uh, spray, painted currency boost, ten legendary marks, snake crawler, cheer, and another duplicate costume boost. So all we're going to be getting is duplicates. I literally got the last costume. I thought it was going to be, like, a little bit longer of a hunt to be able to find the Colossus one, but that was the only one I still required out of the set. Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, heroes for hero Heroes for hire, 25 marvelous essence, a duplicate costume, bonus essence, and 50 marvelous essence. And essence is completely worthless now, especially at this period of time. So even though that was an amazingly good box for essence plus a costume, that would actually be one of those ones I would have got excited about during this game. And now it means absolutely none. 10 marvelous essence, 4 marvelous essence, futuristic alloy, Egyptian pyramid flourish, a matrix of unbinding. And an overflame cred just ding! Four Marvelous Essence, a shitty ass credit chest, experience boost, ten legendary marks, Egyptian pyramid flourish, and two shield supply boosts. Two eternity splendor, five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, seven arrow butch here, and large character experience token for Star Lord, and fifty relics of Xandar. Two eternity splendors, four marvelous essence, experience boost, ten legendary marks, fifty legendary marks, and shield supply boost of two. We're, we're doing this down to 60. Like, there's no point. <laughs> Four Marvelous Essence, Wolverine Spray Paint, Experience Boost, Now you'll Cheer, Matrix of Unbinding, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Last one. Two Eternity Splinters, Ten Marvelous Essence, Four Marvelous Essence, Ten Eternity Splinters, Matrix of Unbinding, and an Unflow Overflowing Credit Chest. That was actually a particularly large amount of Matrix of Unbindings that we got in that attack of 40, but really, that, that was actually... They, they, they must have just said, Screw it! Loot boxes are worth everything! If you actually have any attorney splinters or stuff and you actually want to be playing this game until December, buy the shit out of these boxes because they actually are, um, they're worthwhile to the point because they have, the drop rates are a lot higher than they were previously. That was a lot of costumes in those 40 boxes. Damn! And those 40 boxes will cost you like only the 40, what the, oh fuck, oh god, no, I forgot! <gasps> oh, <laughs> all the stuff's gonna be inside those boxes. Oh god, and they don't stack too. Oh, uh, <laughs> this I am now being hoist on my own retard. Uh, oh god. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is not gonna work. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. And all the crafting stuff that went in there, and all the mess stuff's gonna be going in there. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. So I've got only 15 items in my inventory. And they're all cosmetics too as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's all flourishes. Oh god almighty. Oh, this, yeah, there's actually too many of them in storage. I have to actually store them twice. <laughs> all right. Oh god, there's more stuff? What? Oh, it was all less than stuff that was actually in there. That's okay then. Jesus. Alright guys, that was actually the uh, Apocalypse loot boxes. I think it's just the fact you can see how much garbage are going to be sitting in there. I'm going to have to actually go and chase down and get through this stuff and move on to the next set of boxes. What I thought was going to be like one video that actually had all three of them in it. Ain't going to be. It's going to be each one of them. So that was our 50 or 40 boxes for Apocalypse event loot items. Um, that's done and dusted. There's absolutely nothing left to see in those that we already haven't got. You can see what those drop rates are. I highly recommend just grabbing the boxes of whatever store currency you have left and whatever currency you can get whenever you actually start up the game because you'll be able to afford absolutely everything across the board with its initial 500 and eternity splinters. So go jump into those. They're worthwhile. They'll give you the boost that you need to be able to complete the game quickly because you've only got a month to finish this whole game off. So thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.